What's up, Hot Wheels and Diecast enthusiasts? It's time to bang one out. Bam! Oh, yeah. Oh, hell. Load it up. Them shits is. Busted. Yep, main lines have not reached the city yet, bro. The stuff that I found on the last hunt was not in the city. So we still waiting in here. The fuck is taking so long? I don't know, but you know what? I ain't tripping on it. We got some Johnnies going on right here. Johnny one, two, them wheels is tight, bro. Auto Worlds, we've seen those. Check this thing out, bro. Scat Packers Unite. And if y'all have noticed on some of my Walmart hunts, they're pretty fast. I have to clip out a lot of the music, so I may have to do this as well, because this Walmart's always stupid with the music. Suicidal. All right, we're checking out at another Walmart right now, and I've been waiting for this series, man. This is awesome. This Dodge truck right here. Um, there's a couple cars from here I'm really interested in. Check out this Charger. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like the wheels on that, man. If it weren't for them wheels, that'd be a get. And let's see who's on the back here. We got those right here. Everybody is in the set. Right here on the peg. Oh, yeah, now this is a solid grip up right here. Check this out. Definitely. Hell yeah. That's that's a banger right there. So we're going to move that. Put that with the banger section. Okay. And this. I am a fan of a Dodge Monaco. The old Hot Wheels had some Monacos. They weren't this body style. But I do like these, and I've talked about them before. For some reason, I like cars that have taillights in the bumper, even though they didn't depict any here. Um, these cars were all over in the 60s, in the 70s, and 80s on TV. So those are the two I'm gonna grip up on from that. Who else we got? Okay, so the other ones are the same. Super awesome. That's the fucking ball to see that set here. I was wondering if it even come here. Probably thinking, of course it would. But this Walmart, dude, we never even got the quarter mile set. And that was back in, what, October or some shits? Come on, man. We're going to head down here and check out another banger. It is the day for Monaco's, bro. I need to pick this one up sometime. Check this Monaco out. Now, that thing looks... Green light makes them pretty large, which is a downfall for me. Let's see kind of how much bigger that thing is than a Matchbox, bro. Let me, have, let me take this thing off and see if we can't get a size compare here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of difference in size here. Look at that length alone. Mass is, you know, just, like I said, everybody kind of knows it about green light. They're larger and they kind of stick out in the collection for me. But it's super awesome casting, looks great. And another one that's the balls. Love this thing, bro. Every time I see it, this thing is sweet. Love a lot of the cars in the 50s, man. Look at those fins just flinging out the back, bro. I mean, come on now. And it was all this being said right here. I have an incoming transmission from my man and good friend, DJ ACDC. Um, and before we get to that, man, if you've had the opportunity to get to know McDJ ACDC and you haven't done it, you know, you're missing out, man. And that's your bad because he is one hell of a guy, man. And better than yet, he's a hell of a friend. So let's go check out what DJ ACDC has. <coughs> what up, bro? All right, so check this out. Normally I don't do Motormax vehicles, the American Legends. They have a kind of a modern vehicles they put out you probably seen them at walmart they're like usually like 10 bucks but today this bad boy i had to buy i have not yet seen them do an american muscle one but 1969 dodge cornet super b man oh man if they start doing some old school american muscle then i'll be all in 
to the Motormax. Oh man, appreciate that, McDJ ACDC. That video was sick, bro. You know what I love about McDJ ACDC? You can also see the love that he has for the stuff he does. You know what I mean? You just see that passion, bro. And like I said, I appreciate you sending me that clip so you could share that with everybody. But check this out. This is the fucking banger of the video, bro. Look at this 56. Oh my god. Dang, bro. Wow. That's one of the most impressive Jadas I've seen. The Knight Rider car is awesome. And that high roller that I filmed a while ago, that gold high rider. Our gold high roller. Is this thing rare? This paint job is sticking out to me. Look at how free, look at how chrome that paint is, bro. I don't know nothing about the cars line. Hit me off if this thing is some kind of rare chase or some shits. Holy fuck. Hot Wheels at Dollar Tree again. <laughs> what the fuck is in here? I don't know, man. I'm gonna look through it and find nothing. It looks like somebody's already ripped through it. Yep, there is one treasure hunt in there. No Chase ID, Chase cars, and no Super. So, but cool to see cars back at Dollar Tree. Oh, check this out. This is awesome. We got some Boulevard. This was a really good blind that I thought. The 70 Nova. This custom's pretty freaking awesome. The DeLorean. Yeah, and you know we're gonna have to be running quick here because we're Walmart with the music. Oh man, I love DeLorean. I already have these. I'm not gonna need any of these ones right here. And we got the Super Bird kicking right here. That yellow and chrome is always a favorite for me together with die cast when it's on muscle. That kind of tight deal. Let's see. We got the Pontiac GTO. Like I said, this is an older line, but I think this is one of the better Boulevard lines to come out in a while. Almost, uh, yeah, every one of them a banger for me, for my personal preferences. Where is the Beetle? It must be down count. Yeah, it's right here. There we go. I need, uh, I don't have this one. I need to get this one at some point in time, but it's not going to be today. Let's go ahead and check out. They just did a stock of M2. Check out these moon eyes, bro. Oh, yeah. There you go. Man, you can't go wrong with moon eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I also got this super bird. Pretty nice. We got this freaking fire bird in this Chevy truck. That's pretty dope. And we also have the chase version. Check it out, man. And there's your two differences between the chases. And this one would be limited to, I don't know if that's focusing, 750 pieces right there. Yep. So that is pretty cool. I just said the other day, I don't want to spend twenty dollars on these joints. So, how can you pass up this deal? Yeah, we're taking this straight up to the cash register. See if you can see. Yeah, there you go. Seven hundred and fifty pieces limited. And a lot of you already know how to tell if it's a chase or not. Wheels are going to be gold or red. And like I showed you on the other one, you can see the differences on it. There's the front top and the back. Bro, this is stupid sick, man. When I was a kid, I had this because this is just a, you know, re-envisionment re of it. Oh, man, I had this dry door. And as you know me, I love the evil opposites. There was an all black with purple one called Night Stalker. Oh, yeah, Fisto rode this one and Jitsu rode the Night Stalker. And look at the fucking art on them shits bro like tell me if you wasn't a kid and you saw them shits like that you wasn't gripping sons i mean good night oh check these out we're gonna go rapid fire on these m2 machines bro this 56 ford son nice let's look at the back of that look at those lights those lights come out and catch me are those clear plastic like a lens type deal. I can't tell through my viewfinder, but I think they are. That is, 
fucking dope, man. Oh, we already know what I think of this one, because I, if y'all watch the road trip, this thing is money, man. I love that color, the two tones, the wheels and the tires selection on that. And definitely the detail on the ass on that thing is definitely sweet. Okay, the first time I am seeing this one, the Superbird. That is a nice green. That green goes well with black. Always two of my favorite choices to put together. Oh, and this purple, I finally see it. Big stand, there it is, bro. And it is pretty fucking sweet, man. I like that color in the car a lot. Purple is money, son. We've seen that. We've seen that. Well, I'll look at him just in case somebody has not watched my one of my other videos. There you go. McDJ made a comment that he really liked this one in the last video. And the old 57 Chrysler. This is straight up circle track dirt car. Getting it done, man, back in the day right there. And another store with a turtle restock on these vans. Um, if you can only find them at a Target, um, go ahead. They will price match them. If so, try to screen. Here, let me see. Screenshot that. Take a picture of it and take it to them. And they will price match. Oh damn. Oh hell. Ah. Uh, Yes, please. Uh -huh. But I ain't tripping on it. It's an M2 kind of day, I guess, man. We're hitting all them twos, bro. Oh, check it out, man. I meet up with my buddy Crescent. Old Crescent Chuck's here, man. And we're doing a deal. But he brought me some things to look at. Check out this 9-pack with a super treasure hunt in it. Thank you, they found this last year two years ago he says and we've examined it pretty pretty hardcore man it i mean people are getting pretty good about resealing and rebubbling you know resticking the blisters on but hell we can't see shit where this motherfucker was opened up so to me that's straight legitimate right there because some people are putting customs in these things this one here is an oddity. Check this out. There is your Datsun, but there's no TH on it. And them ain't the wheels for the Super, but them are real riders. And it looks like it is riveted on the bottom. Now, I noticed a lot of these ones that are riveted have one colored and one not. So if any of y'all know if all have one colored rivet and one not, let me know. But yeah, we don't know what's up with that one. Just a freaking Dotson with some real riders and a nine pack. And also this one too. We don't really know what's going on with this Olds, do we? No, we don't. Yeah. So that's some real riders on it. I'm gonna see maybe if uh maybe one of us will look it up, see if we can find out what car this is. Or hey, there's a lot of people out there watching that are pretty knowledgeable. Maybe y'all know what's up with this one. And this one looks pretty good too. See, this one makes me suspect that it's a custom, but I mean, it's got a little piece right there, but it looks worse on camera than actually what that is. So it'd be interesting to know. Uh, check. So we're out here doing a deal and I traded him up this, uh, one of my boulevards. Oh, he got one of them. I got two of them, man. So I'm going to trade him out this. We know how much that thing. That's a banger right there. Look at that thing. Ripping, bro. And I trade him for the Super Treasure Hunt Roger Dodger. Ah! Yeah. I like a lot of the Roger Dodgers. Some of them be ugly as fuck, but this one is cool, man. It, Yeah, on camera you can see it's kind of gray. As opposed to the regular black one. You can see it through the viewfinder. To me. Well, yeah, man. Give another huge shout out to Chuck, bro. What's up, Chuck? What's up, Damn. man? Ah, scissor me timbers, bro. It's time for scissoring. I forgot to say something. We've never seen this blue truck with this particular color before. I know some of them are a little different in the packs and they're exclusive to that. But does anybody know any information about that truck, man? That truck is banging. It's the one that has the that treasure hunt in it.
All right, that's going to do it for this hunt. Man, bangers everywhere. Like Jeff Brummett says, maybe there needs to be warning before all my videos. Beware of bangers, bro. He might have said it a little bit different, man. I don't remember how it was. I'd have to go back and look at it. But shout out to Jeff Brummett, bro. What's up? Also, before I get out of here, March 19th, I'm going to be posted up at the T-Town Wheeler Show in Broken Arrow. If you want information about that show, it's my first show there. I don't know a lot. I'll know a lot more when I go and experience and do all them shits. But if you want to have, if you want to know any information, it's all on ttownwheelers.com. Everything you need to know is up in there. My man Carl from Carl's Car Shack, he runs that joint, and it's awesome, bro. They've been doing that shit for a long time, and you don't want to even know, man. Carl. Carl needs to make a sign before that, before you enter in that show about bangers, because bangers is serious around here, son. And with that being said, everybody, just be cool, do good things for other people, and I'm going to be out. Peace. There are people out there that think this is me when I'm peg hunting. And when I throw it on the ground, this is Tusk. <laughs>